Okay, here's the messy part now. Okay, so we have cut them out on the Cricut. We printed them on the printer. And then we cut them out after the printer. We stuck them through the Cricut. And the Cricut um, cut them for us. This is how they look when you... Um, get them out of the, take them from the cricket. They look just like this. And you just pop them right out. Sometimes they'll stick right to the board. It'll be so easy for you to pop them out. They'll stick right to the board. And once you do that, you almost, you almost home then. Unless you do epoxy, and I don't do epoxy, y'all. Sorry. I have done it. But I made sure it was well ventilated and everything because I know that that epoxy is dangerous. And I had cancer before. I'm a cancer survivor and I'm not in the mood to go through that again. So here's my six pieces. I do have one other thing that I want to tell y'all. If you need to tell me, if you need me to show you, to tell you how to do this, I will too. But on the back of mine, my last one, I like to put this on the back of it so it won't have that white spot on the back of it, um, which means you have to mirror it and turn it around. So you, And then you have to, this is glitter sticker tape paper. So what I did was uh, cut it on the Cricut and mirrored it and turned it around so I could stick it. No, I didn't mirror it. I left it the same. Um, but I used my Cricut to cut it, and then I just stuck it on the back of this so I, mine won't be plain white on the back of it. So that's my last piece. So, the next thing to do is to start gluing them. One, two, three, four, five. I should have six, but the reason I don't have six is because it got stuck on here, and I thought I did another one, but I didn't. So, I'm just going to show you how to do five, but you should have at least six or seven. So, what you want to do now is start gluing them. So, this is the nasty part right here. The nasty sticky part. And what you're going to do is just glue them right on top of each other. Should have did that last one first. Just stick them right on top of each other and glue them. Make sure you line them up. Move them out the way. Line them up real good. I'm going to do this one next. This is my last one and I hope I don't mess it up. Okay. This is the last one that had the glitter on the back of it. Because if you don't put that glitter on the back of there, it's just going to be white. And eventually... It's going to get stained. And you know, you know, if you want to keep it white, you can keep it white. But you don't have to. So I'm the type of person I'm always trying to find a way to do something better. So that's why I turned it around and did that little glitter on the back of the ear. And you don't have to use sticker glitter. If you got some glitter paper from like the dollar store or something like that. You can cut that on your Cricut, too, and stick it on there. So you don't have to use that sticker glitter paper. I just ha I just happened to have some. Because the first time I ever used it, I used... Um, ooh, I hope I... Yeah. The first time I used it, I just used regular um, glitter paper from the store. From... Um, I think I got it from the dollar store. Okay, so keep on sticking those on top of one another. 
glue them. And like I said, you can do whichever keychain on whichever image you want to do. As long as it's, a, it's an image that you can stick that keyhole on there and, you know, as long as the image is durable and you can work with it, you can do any image you want to. You don't have to stick to different, to the stickers, because usually I see everybody just doing them sticker ones. And like I said, I'll always be outside the box <laughs> doing something else. Okay, I'm going to stick this one because this one had a problem with the hole. So we're going to stick this one. Next. And then. Move it a little bit out the way. Find some. These is easy to do, and they are cute. They definitely cute. Um, and then your last one, don't forget, you should have at least six or seven of them to make them durable. And I think the epoxy, when you use the epoxy, it makes it a little bit more durable too. Um, but I use triple thick. Um, it gives it a good shine. And I seen somebody use some spray one time. I was thinking about trying that. I forgot what kind of spray it was, but I'm not really into the keychains. So, but if I was. I would always try to work to be better and better and better and better and better. Okay, so stick this one down. Should be seven, don't forget. Stick that one down there. And then we are almost done. Let me just pick this up for a minute, make sure it's... tissue in here. Okay. And you know, oh, this is um, tacky glue, so it dries clear. It's tacky glue from Dollar General. And this is, ooh, ooh, is triple thick. It's deco art trickle thick, triple thick. Can you see that? Deckles are triple thick. Um, I've seen somebody else use this, and I said, I'm going to try this instead of trying, trying, um, epoxy. Kill myself. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all something while I'm right here, too. Because I'm always trying to do something. I've been making crafts for a long time, y'all. A long time. This is not my first go around. When I first started making crafts, I was young, and my mother used to make crafts. And guess what we started out first with? Ceramics. This is what I call them. They're called the kissing elephants. 
and they're made with their ceramics. Um, I forgot what this was on here, but it's a real pretty. Um, I forgot what they call a glaze that's put on there, but it's like a rainbow glaze. It's shining and shiny in some areas and, and not so shiny in other areas. But that, that's what I made when I first started um, doing ceramics. And I started doing ceramics a long time ago. So I've been doing crafts for a very long time. I just wanted to show y'all that. So I'm always doing something. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all these while that's drying up a little bit. I wanted to show y'all. I brought these, and I think it's three of them. Uh-uh. Three of them or four of them at um, Michael's. Dear little keychains, too. So I'm trying to think of something to put on these. If y'all can think of something, let me know. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try anything. Um, and then, you know, by us being home right now so you won't get bored, you'll have something to do. You know what else I like doing? I like um, doing um, reefs. I love doing reefs. It takes a little while longer, but you can still make a reef in one day. Now, I'm going to make a reef on here one day. I, I hope so. Once I get my camera and everything, because I'm buying a camera on next, next Wednesday. Um, so I can be a little bit better, because I'm not working anymore now, so... Uh, I have a chance to do all of these things now. I'm on unemployment, just like some of the other people are. So anyway, um, this was my um, Betty boot that I did the other day. And um, I told you this is what I put on the back of mine. It's like a little glaze. It's sticker tape. It's gold... Um, Gold glitter sticker tape. I didn't fit it on there real good, but when you do yours, try to make it, try to fit it on there a little bit better than I did. That all depends, and it depends on what you make, but just make sure you fit it on there real good so it'll look nice. That's how I am. <laughs> okay. All right, so anyway, so you take your triple thick. I was shaking mine up a little bit. I don't even remember reading it. Hold on just one second. Let me just look at one other thing before I do this. Oh, no, I don't think I'm doing any other stuff. Let me see. Anyway, you can use a brush or a sponge brush and apply the triple thick to the item, to the keychain. It's going to the item. A nice coating on there. I only did one. I even applied it like around the ends too. Put a nice coating on there. Put a real nice coating on there so it could be like epoxy, but it's not. And then you are really done. Well, I want to make sure I don't get none of that hole. Okay, it's really done now. Just put a nice coating on there and that's got to dry. Of course, it don't take that long to dry. 
I think it was dry before the day was over. And that's it. That's it, y'all. And like I said, you can do any keychain you want to do as long as it's doable. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all next time. I think I'm going to do water slide next time. Try. I'm going to try that. Okay. I'll see you. I'll put the picture up of this when it dries. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.